Alright, this is uh, Josh Mill doing his uh, warm up routine. Uh, well, the first thing I start doing is probably with some scales to get it going. Really. Your pick or your? No, I will work. I think it's under it. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. that is. Okay, so work. The, what I've got is I've, the, first, the reason for me doing scales is so I can loosen tendons. Do some tennis in my hand to obviously, if I ever get a solo and a song or something, and I want to be moving quickly across frets, this will help me with my alternation time. Uh, so I'll start off by doing the C major scale, which is. And I'll eventually, slowly, speed that up and speed it. So. And of course, I'll move on to different scales. Uh, possibly do the G major, which is, and again, I speed that up. It lo loosen tendons in my fingers. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, the next exercise I'll probably move on to doing is arpeggios, because for starters, of course, well, the C major, it gets me familiar with chord shapes again. So. And also, with my right hand, I'll be, it'll be changing strings quite frequently, uh, practicing movement and accuracy with my left drum. Uh, it will, uh, oh, like I said, it'll make me more familiar with chord shapes and, yeah, help me with my st string switching. Uh, I'll then move on to probably doing bar chords, which is just that bit in a, in a major. Just some simple sort of barring chords, but I'd switch between maybe a G and a, a B and a C, just alternating between them, obviously helping my frequency, my fretboard accuracy, so I say, and I'll maybe even swap between minors, majors, some sevenths possibly, um, and uh, also, and yeah, this will first of all strengthen my index finger, finger, because obviously it's pulling down all the frets mm -hmm. across there, all the strings, sorry, across the fretboard. Now the rest of my fingers playing. Uh, I'd probably do uh, as something, and then the next exercise I'll be doing is called the caterpillar scale, which is. And then you go back down again. Mm -hmm. But this is again, it's, it's sort of like a scale, but it's this is to improve more accuracy with your fingers, fingertips. Yeah? Okay. And oh, oh, yeah, of course, and it will also maybe help me with my finger stretch across frets. So if I can get a longer finger stretch, allowing me to play more difficult songs. Um, and also, it will build up. But more strength in my four fingers, meaning that uh, I'll obviously be able to have a, a better performance out rather than a sort of buzz on any of the frets while I'm playing. And finally, I'll probably finish with playing any sort of chord, whether it be an open chord like that, without my thumb on the back, because this strengthens up all your tendons and muscles in your fingers across here. And also, once I've began with with my um, well, once I've done with open chords such as a C or a D or even a, a, a G or any sort of open chord, I then move on to bar chords to strengthen up my all my four fingers rather than just my three ones. Yeah, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, and, the, and obviously you got to make sure that you have the right sort of posture over the guitar to so then you don't get any sort of back problems in the future. Yeah. Um and yeah, that's about it.